All right, so let's start out by looking at the inequality on the left side. We can start out by subtracting 9y from both sides. Doing so gives us 21 is less than negative 3y. And now let's divide both sides by negative 3. And remember that we have to flip the sign when we do that. So that will give us negative 7 is greater than y. All right, so let's look at the inequality on the right side now. We can subtract 4 from both sides, and that will get us 2y is greater than or equal to 1. And now we can divide both sides by 2 so that we get y is greater than or equal to 1 half. All right, so let's try to visualize this a little bit. Um, we can do that by writing the interval notation. So for the first one, we'll have negative infinity to negative 7, both closed in parentheses, and with a bracket, 1 half to infinity. And of course, we always do parentheses with infinity. I'm going to rewrite this with the and symbol, though. It just kind of looks like a hump. And so looking at this, um, these intervals will describe what y can be to make these inequalities true. But y cannot be both of these things at the same time. So because of the word and, there is no solution. If the and were an or, then yeah, that would definitely be valid. But since y cannot fill that criteria at the same time, there is no solution and we're just left with an empty graph here. And we actually don't even need the interval notation either. And that's it.